hello everyone uh, so we'll start with the blood hound uh, blood hound is a tool which allows you to enumerate hidden and often unintended relationship uh, between the uh, accurate environment uh, so basically it generates a graph on the basis of collected information which makes it easy to understand misconfiguration in the accurate environment so um, also i have written one uh, blog uh, on this topic uh, how to perform this attack blood hound attack so i'll mention the link in the description so uh, let's start with the uh, bloodhound attack so just go to this terminal and uh, we'll type okay it's already typed okay i'll explain you all the switches bloodhound python is basically the installed uh, in the bin bash so that's the reason we, uh, we can uh, call that binary from anywhere then use an user uh, unit 3 uh, this is the compromised user password is the password at 123 uh, the name server is 192.168.1.142 is basically the uh, uh, domain controller uh, ip address d is the uh, d is the domain name uh, dj.local and c is the collection method that is all so we'll just hit enter i can see uh, the uh, dj.local uh, domain is uh, enumerated uh, connecting to ldap server this is basically the domain controller uh, uh, system uh, name win one dr something 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 then uh, 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 one domain is found one domain in the forest then three computers are there that is yes true uh, and uh, they have listed the three computers that is uh, windows 10 is there windows 7 both are the client and the domain controller that is a uh, windows uh, 1 dr bt something 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 also uh, it found uh, nine users and the 50 groups are there so it's fair enough so we'll uh, see this information in the graphical uh, uh, view so for that once you go to this folder you will see uh, these files are generated so we'll read this file inside the bloodhound so before uh, starting the bloodhound first of all we have to start the neo 4 j database so to start the neo 4 j database we have to say that uh, sudo neo 4 j console it will start the database server so database server is started yes it started so now we can start the bloodhound and it will directly log in actually i saved this credentials so that's the reason it got uh, automatically logged into the uh, server okay so now everything is zero 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 we have we haven't uploaded anything so we'll uh, upload that files from here and inside the bloodhound okay we can upload all four files in one go and here we go it's uploading great okay so we have uploaded uh, all the files and now you can see uh, 28 ACLs are 20 so now the database is uh, I mean all the data is uploaded into the database now we can query uh, fire uh, some queries to see uh, all the uh, data okay first of all we'll see find all the domain admins so we'll see who all our domain admins inside the AD environment that is the uh, first one is the unit 3 okay uh, then unit 1 is also the uh, domain admin and the administrator of course and those are connected with the domain admins at teacher.local uh, then map domain trust find computers with an unsupported system operating system so this is uh, also the um, uh, you can uh, take advantage of this because uh, many times uh, if, if the operating system is unsupported or the end of support then uh, that operating system has uh, more vulnerabilities than the one currently is going on uh, then Kerberos interaction I can see of Kerberos table uh, members of high value group so we'll see how many Kerberos table uh, members are there okay I can see IIS SVC at the uh, local actually the service account with the high privileges so it directly 
member of the administrator at digital so if you compromise this account you will get the uh, permission of this uh, administrator at dj uh, dj.local so uh, so that's how you can uh, make a privilege escalation okay find as rep uh, roastable user don't require pre-authentication basically uh, okay there are two members two accounts are there which uh, don't have a uh, you know uh, don't require a pre-authentication corporate pre-authentication that means these account can request a ticket without authentication so these are the two accounts unit 3 and unit 4 so with, with the help of this accounts we can uh, you know uh, request a golden ticket from the TGT server so if you click over here then uh, it will show you all the information reachable high value targets that is uh, so it will show you all the targets first of all it's a unit 3 unit 3 is a member of uh, domain admins so what is a member so and how you can uh, take advantage of this so just go over here and just right click over here it will ask you uh, do you want any help so just click on the help then it will show you the user unit 3 at dj.local is a member of a group admin uh, group domain admins at dj.local so basically uh, what what is the use of this uh, and how to you know use this misconfiguration to uh, you, um, you know uh, take advantage of this misconfiguration and uh, escalate the privileges so it will show you this also abuse how to okay no abuse is necessary this age simply indicates that the principle belongs to the security group so you don't have to abuse directly you will get the permissions uh, of this so basically uh, uh, user unit 3 has a permission of admin uh, domain admin rights so uh, we can escalate the privileges with the help of this and this is directly the member of this group admin then uh, what else shortest from from path from here okay uh, you can set it as a starting point or the ending point where you want to go where you are it will show you like uh, all these things okay uh, you can mark over here mark user as own so we basically we have the uh, username and the password of this uh, account so we'll we can mark this account over here and then we can you know uh, check the uh, uh what is the shortest path path from here so it will be easy for you to you know uh identify which were user is owned and which users are not. so uh this is all about the uh, bloodhound thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video